want math. Hey, you love math. I love math. No, okay. Please, Mr. War, that Barney tune is totally out of date. Sorry, I just couldn't help myself. Barney, the wonderful purple dinosaur. Hey, 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 let's go ahead and get started here. Looks like we have, whoa, in big print in Gage, New York. This is a Eureka video, module four, lesson 19. Looks like we're going to be doing some more stuff with our good old measurement. Let's go ahead and take a look at our objective, which is our learning target over here. And it states that we're going to convert measures involving whole numbers and solve multi-step word problems. Woo, yeah, I like it. Let's get started. Yeah. And here we have problem one here. Oh my goodness. It says 30 centimeters is equal to meters. I'm looking at this, the first thing I'm thinking to myself, well, which, which is the larger unit, the centimeters or the meters? And since I know meters is a base unit, and centi means 100, that's right, 100 meters in one meter. Woo, how easy. So I'm going to say definitely meters is the larger unit. Since we are expressing a smaller unit in terms of a larger unit, 30 centimeters is more or less than one meter. Well, it would have to be less since we just said it was smaller. Now I'm wondering, is it more or less than a half of a meter? And when I think about that, since I just said 100 centimeters were in one meter, that's letting me know right there that no, 30 centimeters would actually be less than half. See, 50 centimeters would be the halfway point. And actually on a meter stick, if you had a meter stick, which you've probably seen in the classroom, that you know right there, half of that would be 50 centimeters and 30 is less than that. So what we really want to do then is we want to rename these centimeters using meters. Okay, so now I know exactly what the task is. Well, you may have recalled on a, maybe a previous video, if not, that we could rewrite 30 centimeters as 30 times one centimeter. Let's go ahead and do that. And all I've done is we just rewritten that expression right there for the 30 centimeters. I shouldn't say expression, that term 30 centimeters is 30 times one centimeter. Now we know that 30 centimeters is the same as 30 copies of one centimeter. So let's rename our one centimeter as a fraction of a meter. So what fraction of a meter is one centimeter? Well, we just talked about it. 100 centimeters makes up one meter. So one centimeter would be one hundredth of a meter. So let me rewrite this now as 30 centimeters is equal to 30 times one centimeter, which we had. And then say that that's going to be equal to then 30 times one hundredth meter. And that you may recall from a, maybe a previous video how this is considered a conversion factor. And that's the factor that's going to help us. Now, how do we know that this is really actually even true, a way to check my work? Well, I know this has to be true because in this case, I just renamed the centimeter as the same amount meters. I rewrote that as the same amount. One centimeter is equal to one hundredth meter. Now we have 30 copies of one hundredth meter. So how many hundredths of a meter is that in all? Wouldn't that be 30 hundredths of a meter? By looking at that quantity here, that's all we're doing right there, is bringing it right on down, okay? Now, so let's go ahead and write this now as a fraction. This would be 30 hundredths over 100. Now, I wonder if this is, can we express this in simplest form? Sure, well, so 30 hundredths, what I can do here is I can divide out a power of 10. So if I just divide the power of 10 by taking a power of 10 from each, one from the numerator, one from the denominator. That was the same thing as if I just said divided by 10 here, divided by 10 here, end up with three over 10. But remember, our new unit of measure now is meters, okay? And does our answer seem reasonable? It does. We still have three out of 10 is actually the same thing as 30 out of 100. So we thought it was gonna be less than a half meter and three tenths meter is less than one half. And that's a way of checking our thinking. Okay, let's go into another problem. Yay, problem two. Now we're back to customary units. Nine inches is equal to, hmm, how many foot or feet? Let's go ahead again then and rewrite this as nine inches is equal to nine times, we can just put one inch because nine times one inch, right, is nine inches. Nothing tricky there. Again, just nine copies of one inch, okay? Now what fraction of a foot is one inch? And you know, this might be where you might want to draw a tape diagram. That might help you here. Let's, let's go ahead and do that. 
So let's start off and just showing that one foot. Well, we know there's how many inches in one foot? And they're 12 inches. So if I were to divide this, see, then I could say, okay, there would be six inches on this side, six inches on the other side. I can split my six and a half again and say, now there's going to be three here and three there, right? And then you can actually put in your other lines now. See, now I have one, two, three. Here I'm going to have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So I have twelve. How much is that one inch then? Right, because this is one inch. Yeah, isn't that one twelfth of that foot? He's just one out of twelve equal pieces. So of course the answer here is going to be one twelfth foot. But before we rename our one inch, let's estimate. Will nine inches be more than half a foot or less than half a foot? Remember that half is that's a great, great benchmark fraction. And I'm thinking, no, a half foot here is six inches, so nine is more than that. So actually, yeah, nine inches would be more than a half a foot. This is a way I kind of get an idea what the answer should be. So now let's go ahead and work out our problem. So now we have nine, and we're going to multiply that by, remember it was one twelfth, and here it changes the unit now because that was our conversion factor. So now we have nine times one twelfth, and we have nine copies of that. Well, that could be an expression that we could re rewrite that as is simply 9 over 12 because 9 times 1. Yeah, so we multiply that through and now that happens to also be since we have a common factor of 3. So if I were to divide the numerator and the denominator both by the equal quantity, I can get 3 fourths and that would be 3 fourths foot. So it is less than 1. Okay, does that answer make sense based on our problem? It does. We said that the result should be more than half a foot and it is three quarters is a little bit more than a half a foot cool man isn't this fun i don't ever want it to end cool look at problem three koalas hey it says koalas will often sleep for 20 hours hey here's a koala bear where'd you come from buddy hey look at you although this guy's not sleeping this guy's really eating and he's eating with his mouth open <laughs> Just kidding. Hey, buddy, aren't you a cool little fella? All right, we'll leave you here. Oh, koala bears are cool. But really, you guys sleep for 20 hours a day? Wow, what fraction of a day does a koala often sleep? Well, I'm looking at this thinking, how am I going to solve this? I have definitely a unit of measure of hours, and then I have the day. And since they want to know what fraction of the day, I'm going to go from a smaller unit to a larger. So I'm going to need to convert 20 hours into that fraction of a day. How would I do that? I'm going to write down my 20 hours first, put 20 hours. That's going to be equal to, again, if we rewrite this as two factors, that would be one hour because 20 copies of one hour is going to equal 20 hours. And then I need to get that conversion factor. So that's going to be what is one hour in, uh, as compared to a day. Well, there's 24 hours in one day. So wouldn't one hour then be one 24th day? Mm -hmm. And then I can go ahead and see, I can see I have my 20 times one, which is 20. I'm just going to represent this problem 20 over 24. Now I do see a common factor here. I do. I see here a four. I also see a four here. So if I were to divide by a factor here of four, wouldn't I end up with five over six? And then that's in simplest form, and that would be five six of the day, which just looking at that fraction, it's almost a whole. So yeah, koalas, you guys like sleep pretty much the whole day. <laughs> hey, this little fellow's gun. I didn't realize this guy had a voice. Aren't you funny? Yeah, well, no, maybe we are a little bit jealous that you guys just get to hang around on trees and you don't have all the stress of doing what we have to do. <laughs> all right, let's move on. Now we come to problem four. Now on problem four, it says 15 inches is equal to how many feet, okay? So we've been doing this pretty regularly, so this might be a time you want to put the video on pause, try it out on your own, and then come back and kind of see how you did. So we've been definitely converting smaller units to larger ones. That's been the goal. And the last one, we converted something smaller than a whole day, okay? It was hours. Now, here we're converting something more than a whole foot. So that is definitely one thing that's different. 15 inches is more than a foot. So our answer should be greater than one. That kind of makes sense. And we still have to think about, though, what fraction of a foot is one inch because we are going to be converting. 
So let's go ahead and rewrite this problem then as 15 inches is equal to, okay, 15 times, again, we're just showing that one inch. I'm putting that in parentheses, not necessary, but makes it a little bit easier to see maybe. Now I'm going to go ahead and convert that into what one inch is of a foot. And we learned in a previous one that that's one twelfth because there's 12 inches in one foot. Okay, and now I have foot here. So now if we continue on here, I'm going to end up with 15 over 12. I, I could divide out a common factor. I see of at least three stands out in my mind right away, making that equal to five over four. Now we can see five over four, and this is what I love so much about Engage New York, lets you know that I can take one hole out of that, which is four over four, adding on one fourth. Is it one four over four plus one fourth? Five fourths. It is, but it lets us know that now we have that one hole and now we have the remaining. So we end up with one and one fourth, but the unit of measure, yeah, that's right, we switch it. It's going to be feet. Yeah! Woohoo! Yeah, yeah! Okay, problem five. Numero cinco. Here we go. 24 ounces is equal to how many pounds? Now, again, I'm looking at this. We've been always going from smaller. To larger and again on this one here we are going from a smaller unit ounces to a larger unit which is a pound so I'm gonna go ahead and rewrite this again feel free to put that video on pause at any point that way you can see how you're doing 24 times and of course if I just put one ounce and I'm gonna put Oz as my abbreviation well that's just 24 copies of one ounce which is 24 so I haven't changed the value but now what I want to do is determine what is an one ounce in relation to a pound. Well, there's 16 ounces in one pound. Wouldn't this then just be 1 16th then pound? There you go. And now I'm just, again, I'm multiplying through 24 times 1 16th. It's just, this could also be represented over one if that makes it easier. 24 times 1 is 24. And then of course we have 16. Now I definitely see I can divide out a 4. So let's divide that 4 out. That's going to equal 24 divided by 4 is 6. And then we end up with 4 over here. And again, you can see I have a hole in here. I do. Because I see my 4 over 4 is one hole. And I have 2 left over. Oop, I kind of did that in reverse. There we go. And that is 6 fourths. Which means my answer is just going to be 1 and 2 fourths. Or 2 fourths happens to equal 1 half. So we'll go ahead and show that it's 1 half. And our unit of measure was pounds. And that's another way to express pounds. Woohoo! Yeah, yeah. Oh, my friends, there you go. Been there, done that. That's right, my friends. I know you're getting emotional. I bet you guys go through so many clips.